one electro here. This is the uh, Maya round bobbin transformer. Um, the way I've got it wired up at the moment is I've put a bi directional coil into it, but it doesn't seem to be working as I wanted it to. So I'm only using half the coil, which is wound as a, a normal coil. It's just got once up and down the, um, the cavity. So that's what I'm using as a primary coil. It's 0.25 millimeter wire. Uh, the choke coils are the 430 FR stainless steel. That's uh, one side of it there with with the two connectors because they're bifolar wound. And that's the uh, on the other side of the transformer there, the two connectors on the bottom. That's the choke um, other side of it. Uh, on top is the secondary coil which is 44 gauge copper wire and um, what's driving it is a signal generator and I'm driving it at uh, 700 hertz at about 10 volts going through um, a preamp there but it's sorry the amplitude here is only set to about 5 volts actually so uh, there's the scope there. Now, one of the uh, the leads goes to the drive circuit, to the primary, from the signal generator. I'll turn that on. And that's the signal there, that's to the primary. Now, uh, the secondary here, Uh, that's the signal for the secondary. You can see it's got it's it's, it's got a uh, high DC offset. Uh, this probe is set at ten times, and the sc scope is set at twenty volts. So that's the the amplitude there, and. Notice that it seems straight now. If I put the, the probe on one times, it's actually a sawtooth wave. But it's still got a very high DC offset. If I measure this um, output with a multimeter, it'll measure a DC voltage, 410 volts DC I think it measures. But it, um, it won't measure it as AC voltage. Now... Another interesting thing is, on this side of the um, the diode, it comes off as an AC waveform there. And I'll put it back on ten times. So that's the secondary output. It's an AC waveform. On the other side of the diode, it comes off as a pulsed square wave. Pretty similar, actually, to the um, to the primary input. Um, a weird thing about this is, if I disconnect the choke coil from this, and just measure the output off the diode, it's like pulsed DC. When I connect the, the choke wire t to it, even with the other side not connected to anything, it's just a, um, a free end there. Um, the, the signal now sorry, isn't a, um, it's a pulse DC, but it's got a DC offset to it. Now, when I go, this goes to the other side of the, the choke coil, which is this high tension right here. When I go there, that seems to have gone, so it seems to be even more flatter. So that the choke coil in this thing seems to be acting as a capacitor, because if you've got a pulse DC um, like that, and you pass it, and you put a capacitor on it like a DC power supply, it, it smears it out. And as you can see here, on this side of the um, 
the diode coming off the secondary, it's a positive pulses, basically it's a pulse DC voltage. Now as soon as I connect the, the choke to it, even though there's nothing connected to the outside, you can see the signal there, it gives it an offset, like a capacitor would when you connect it to a, a Ripley DC um, power supply. Now, on the other side of the choke, so when the choke so when the choke passes through the inductor there and it comes in on the other side you can see here again that it's um, it's even smoother now the other thing that makes me think that this acts as a capacitor is this if I turn the signal generator off uh, mucking around with it I um, notice that it does this uh, if I get a just an LED, and I earth it, and I touch it, oops, there, you can see it flashed, now, I'll do that again, just turn it on and off, there, so, um, that coil goes to that diode and then it goes through the rest of the transformer to an earth there. Um, you can also do this if you charge up the coil, take the other end of the, of the, um, the chat coils, the part that was earthed, You can see there that flashed as well. So it does, but it does hold a charge for quite a while. Like, um, I'll just show you again. Turn it on and off. Now we'll hold it here for a while. Like before, we were mucking around with it for a while. But, um, yeah. So, uh, if you put the probe again. Okay on and off we'll get the uh, probe put on one times don't need to actually put on 10 times and it's still on 20 volts and you can see here when I touch it it made a spike I'll put the probe on one times on off You can see the spike there. So, yeah, it does seem that um, the choke cores on this do display the um, distributed capacitance that Myers describes in his notes. Anyway, post your comments. Bye for now.